thanks for watching. Couple new things uh, in my kit. I'm here at uh, Collin County Bow Hunters. Um, if you're in the area, North Texas, join them. There's a range, 24 hours a day. It's got a 50 yard, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 yard, and then it's got uh, about 35 3D targets. We're just about to buy new ones for the ones that are a little missing. Um, but I got some new stuff here today, first time. I'm shooting new arrows. So these are the Spartans by Black Eagle. The 350 spine 003 straight. I put some, they came with orange knocks, so I put some orange wraps, two orange and a pink. Then I got six of those, you can see in there, they're all numbered, so I'm going to uh, start working out which ones are my best ones, which ones are not my best ones. Depends, they could all shoot well, and that'd be good. The True Glow Quiver. I have been carrying my, whenever I come up here, I've been carrying two arrows around and it's just a pain in the butt trying to find somewhere for them. So now I've got the arrow quiver. It literally just gets in, snaps on like that. That's awesome. I've also got, and I got these for like $12. These are just really cheap. Um, Fixed blade, chisel point, get them out here, like this, I don't know if that's uh, focusing there or not, but uh, we're going to see how these arrows fly with these, um, I've never, I haven't flo uh, shot with a um, broadhead before, brings me to my next one, I've got the cube, it's got some games on it, tic-tac-toe it's got an actual dart board on the other side so that should be fun um, and then that is it I forgot my water so I brought a water bottle and forgot to fill it with water and then I stopped at the petrol station sorry the gas station and I bought a smart water and then just opened it up and as I was opening up I went Shh, and it is soda water so I am without water for the next hour and a half while I do this which sucks. So, um, as a big water drinker, I'm not going to have fun over the next uh, hour and a half. Um, listening to the Gritty Bowman podcast, as usual, as I drive out here, it's about 30 minutes to drive out here from where I am. I'm going to shoot these arrows first, and then I'm going to pop uh, two broadheads on two of them and shoot all four and see how they go with accuracy into the cube don't shoot broadheads at um, the range. I'm going to shoot that into the cube, see how it goes, and then uh, put and put those two away. I only ever shoot two at 3D targets anyway, so the ones that don't have broadheads, I'm going to shoot at the 3D targets and do about 10 or 11 um, targets. So let's uh, let's see how this goes. Where we had a horrible condensation and it was windy. So, I'm happy with the arrows, there's none that seems to be just shooting bad. I'm still working on technique, so, you know, that's nine times out of ten me. But I put the cheap uh, broadheads in, and that only cost me like eight bucks for three so it didn't matter um, and they're still hitting within you know if I'm aiming for an animal not that I'm going to shoot these ones but if I'm aiming for an animal it's going to die but it's uh, still shooting you know, four inches low five inches low on uh, at 30 yards maybe six or seven inches low so um, definitely got to do some more testing with that and then just uh, spend a day just with broadheads so uh, we've got still got two weeks left for deer season so heaps of time not a lot of time but uh, gonna throw a lot of arrows down with broadheads and 
and uh, really see. Brian's got some broadheads he wants me to try out as well, so we'll see how that goes. So now going over to 3D targets. Didn't shoot great. But I'm still hitting within an inch of these two inch by two inch squares. Um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm doing a little bit with my left hand, like my, my left hand, um, still dropping, still learning. So I'm not worried, but 3D targets, you can see it in there, sheep, deer, me. So, very distances now we got from 22 yards all the way out to 42 I think 44 and I'm gonna do about 10 of them and then uh, go home Turkey at 33, downhill. I love this shot. Big yellow friend. He just ran up this. You can't. Oh, there you go. You can see it. He's uh, gonna jump over this and get him from the other side. He is awesome. Can you see him there? He jumps at me. I am going to squeal like a girl. He is awesome. Elk. Last time I shot this, didn't go well. So let's see how it goes this time. So, still working out with up and down. Should I lengthen the shot? Should I shorten the shot? So this was 33 yards. Downhill two degrees. So, so pretty good. The left arrow is the first one. I always shoot them apart because of how many arrows I've lost from hitting other arrows. So I'm uh, working it out. track well. Uh, still having issues with um, dropping the bow, shooting a little low and left, even when I know my sight is is uh, is on. But shooting better, getting more reps in, at least shooting twice a week, trying to get the third time in. 